What's going on, guys? And welcome to episode 131 of the Taste of Cast, our weekly podcast where we talk about things, react things, do much random shit. My name's Seth, and joining me today, I have Josh, Chevy, Chris, and Cody. We're going to be discussing the best month of PlayStation Plus in 2020. A little late, but we're going to do it now. It's going to be a fun conversation. Before we go into quick reminders, uh, how are you guys doing? Not too bad. Uh, Very good. good to be back. Very good. We got a uh, full roster today. What's up, Chevy? Yeah. I was just say. uh, Lots of carbs in my system, as you two know for sure. So, yeah, asked Josh to come over to uh, to film with us, and uh, he's like, "I'm bringing a bunch of pizza. I'm gonna sabotage this fucking show." That was his plan, and now we're all fucking sleepy. I think the only the least sleepy person here is probably Cody, maybe. Which is so. weird. Which is very weird. Yeah, except for you got that wine. That'll that'll work on you after a while. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, quick reminders to download and play Greedfall, Maneater, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. All offer for free on PlayStation Plus. Make sure to download those, play those, come back at the end of this month for Plus Club. Let us know what we thought of those games. We'll let you know what we thought of them. And our game of the month picked by some asshole is Deep Rock Galactic. Make sure to play that, come back at the end of the month. Uh, for Game of the Month, we're going to discuss that and also randomly draw a Game of the Month, which we haven't done in two months, so that'll be fun to find out that surprise. We have Discord link down below. You can talk to us anytime, all the time. We're on iTunes, Spotify, and other podcast platforms if you prefer to listen to us. And we have a Patreon if you'd like to support the channel further than liking, commenting, sharing this video, and subscribing if you're new. And to all the new subscribers we've got in the last like two weeks, welcome to the channel. This is something that we do every year, and we'll dis- we'll talk about it in a sec what we're going to be doing here. Also, look at this, guys drawn on the screen we've we've joined it's 2021 we're going to treat this like we're in 2021 uh every year we do this uh we normally have a fucking whiteboard we're, we're old school for a long time we would uh have josh hold it mm-hmm. he would uh kind of write it mm-hmm. write all the info down for us this year we're doing it all digital baby so uh, we're in the future and uh yeah so uh as everybody knows, and if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, uh, every month we play the games on PlayStation Plus throughout the month, and at the end of the month we talk about it. That's something we call Plus Club, and uh, yeah, we do it every single month. It's always fun, but one thing we do every year is at the beginning of every year, uh, we reflect on the year prior, and every single month that we played games uh, on PlayStation Plus, we kind of talk about and we vote on what the best month of PlayStation Plus in that year was. We've been doing this for fucking years now. It's kind of a tradition around here, so uh, it's it's always fun to do because it's a more dynamic conversation. It's one that we don't know the outcome of, and it's not randomly or random either. We literally have the discussion. You guys will be here for it, and uh, we will find out by the end of this what Tasty Loot Gaming thinks is the best month in 2024 PlayStation Plus. Now, you guys are probably seeing on screen right now that I have months set up. Um, on a uh, bracket. This is all randomly generated. I did not pick these myself. I just said, hey, uh, I need 12 numbers randomly generated, went through, put them on the bracket as is, so they are placed randomly, and we will uh, go head to head with every month and see which one goes on to the next until we have a final winner. Um, Hopefully that's clear, and uh, yeah, the way we're also gonna do this as well is we will be going, as you guys can see on screen, uh, me, Josh, Chevy, Chris, Cody, and then on the next one, it'll go Josh, Chevy, Chris, Cody, me, and so on and so forth. You guys see what I'm talking about here. Um, before we start this, is there anything you guys want to say about PlayStation Plus in 2020? We'll have a ref- we'll have a discussion about that at the very end. But um, uh, are you uh, any thoughts on this before we jump into this? Uh, this this year was such a fucking long, uh, stretched out year that a lot of these I'm not even going to remember that we even played them. Maybe just because it was. 2020 was a weird year yeah so for sure uh, this 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 will be half surprise half uh half delegation i haven't even gone through the list and like i checked it was the 2020 (laughs) list to make sure like we're reading the right list that'd be kind of awkward if you were just doing the year before (laughs) doing a second edition of that um but outside of that, I didn't go into detail or really think about it. So this mm-hmm. will be truly like on the spot having th- this discussion, figuring this out. Any thoughts from any of you? Yeah, actually, just kind of glancing through the list. Uh, like Josh said, you know, the year's kind of a blur. And uh, I don't remember. Like, I don't remember a lot of these being plus games until looking at them. And then it's kind of like an oh, yeah, moment. Mm-hmm. Yep pretty much the same for me too (laughs) yeah that's how i felt as well 
Any thoughts from the person who just woke up from their slumber? <laughs> Still trying to gather <laughs> them. There's a. I'm just seeing a couple uh, collections. I just forgot how many games there were. Yeah. Just so much going on. Yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. Yeah, there was like a couple. Like it was like. There was a couple months. It was like five games because it was like a collection <laughs> of something or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, this is going to be a long conversation. So let's just jump in. Unless you guys have anything else. No, let's do it. All right. So uh, the first in the bracket we have uh, August and May. Uh, so let's see if I can do this on screen. Can you guys see what I'm looking at? Maybe you guys can cool. Hopefully this, uh, won't fuck up anything up. So I said August and May. So in August we had call of duty, modern warfare two campaign remastered and fall guys It was August and May. So let's see. And then in May we had city skyline and farming simulator. Um, so yeah, call of duty, modern warfare two campaign remastered, uh, just the campaign and fall guys, which, uh, was a, uh, huge, game when it dropped uh it, it first released on there it wasn't even sold it was just released on there um on uh well it's sold on pc but you guys know what i'm saying on, on playstation plus it was like when it came out yeah. was was then and then uh city skyline and farming simulator which was a really interesting month i remember that one because it was all uh you know like micromanaging games mm-hmm. and stuff so um so yeah i guess i start this one off first fuck um i'm, I'm not ready for this mentally um <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. So, um, August. I'm going to go with August. I'm going to go with August because uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 remastered. The campaign was great. I wish the multiplayer was there for sure. I would dock it for that. But I think us getting a game that I was hyped for for free on PlayStation Plus, which is Fall Guys, was a huge deal, um, in my opinion. And I think outweighed City Skyline and Farming Simulator uh, out of those two the 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 game that really resonates with me the most is farming simulator i had way more fun with that than i thought i was going to have so um it was a good month for sure but i think august just kind of outweighs it in uh in what was offered so that's one vote for what i said august Mm -hmm. this is a new new way we're doing this guys so just bear with me all right josh uh i'm gonna also go with august um city skylines and farming simulator they are decently fun games but i believe that city skylines works better on pc and uh like a lot of games like that even though it was serviceable on Mm -hmm. the playstation 4 i I remember the conversation about that but um and farming simulator i didn't get to play with people so it was just a run of the mill doing farming stuff by myself and i was just kind of like eh but modern warfare 2 campaign remastered was something that i was looking forward to it does get docked because it didn't come with the multiplayer. I don't know if they'll ever release that, but I don't think so. Um, Unless we get another another remaster, remaster yeah. of the remaster. Yeah, it'll take too many uh, people away from the modern from current Call of Duty. But um, and then Fall Guys was so huge. It was I was looking to buy it anyway just to support mm-hmm. those guys. When they just give it out for free, that was dope. So uh, being able to play it like that and instantly infusing their community with millions of players was was a good deal so yeah very smart going with august all right that's two votes for august next up is chevy um it's kind of a tough one for me both months have uh, a game I, I really enjoy and then a second game that is is okay um so <clears throat> probably gonna Man, that's rough. I, I think I'm going to follow suit and go with August. Um, and only for one reason, which is honestly Fall Guys. Um, I, I really like City Skylines. I could play it all the time, but it is definitely a keyboard and mouse game, like Josh said. Um, I actually feel that Farming Simulator is kind of in the same boat, more of a, like a at-home at PC type of game. It plays. They both play fine on PS4 or on PlayStation or whatever. Um, but I do think they they play better on PC. Yeah. Uh, I agree. Fall Guys, I think is a controller. Game. And so sure. I think that works great on PlayStation. I think it was a, uh, a great way for them to launch the game. It already had hype behind it. It just kind of increased that hype. Got a lot of people in there. Um, it kind of like gave them that, that head start they needed to, to make it successful. Call of Duty's Call of Duty. Um, I mean, I'm not going to complain if you give me one, but I'm never going to be excited either. So for sure. All right, well, that 
allows August to go to the next um, tier. So that one wins, May loses, but we still want to hear from Chris and Cody. So Chris, what would you have picked and why? Uh, I was going to be the odd man out here and pick May because I had more fun and spent more time playing City Skyline and Farming Simulator than I did Call of Duty and, and Fall Guys. <laughs> I just I'm not really remember. into shooters, and I don't like super competitive games yeah. these days. So anything that's like co-op, I really enjoy. And Farming Simulator was just a blast, it's terrifying everybody running across the field. Mm-hmm. I uh, I just I, as soon as I asked and you said you wanted to be the odd man out on that, like instantly I remembered your frustration when we played Fall Guys. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, and Call of Duty. So why would you pick that? It made complete sense. I thought he was just grumpy. I was like, damn, bro. So that's one vote for me. Grumpy as hell. Anything else you want to uh, add to that? No, no. I just just really enjoy co-op games more than anything else these days. So it was an easy pick for me. Yeah. Cody? Uh, It was going to be a slaughter. Uh, August, for sure. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Yeah. Uh, just for Fall Guys, I think that was that like uh, you guys touched on it before, but it was pretty solid for them. I mean, it just released, and then you release it on PlayStation Plus, and that's when I got it. And I mean, I know for at least that month, at least bleeding into the next month, I was still playing that game, trying to get that first win, which never happened. Um, I got close so, so many nice times. Mm-hmm. Me too. Me too. I literally got to the end. It like and somebody else just jumped quicker than i could but it's i was in know. midair and the other guy had reached the crown before me but we're both just in the air and he touched it like yep. a millisecond i was like jesus christ yeah. so, well, they fail videos too of people like leaping towards it and just bouncing off of it mm-hmm. oh yeah that that's definitely happened a, a, more than a few times <laughs> there was yeah. that video that came out of that guy who fucking got there first and he climbed up the crown and then someone else touched the yeah. crown and won Oh gosh! I would have no, fucking I would have put my fist through the fucking screen. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> um, but just for that month, just because that was such a big deal when that game came out, it was just you know kind of I don't, I don't know I don't know if I want to say like phenomenon, but it was like a big deal. Um, it was an event you know, for sure. Yeah, yeah, in an event, you know. So when they released it for for uh, and I was gonna buy it. And uh, but when they released it for free, it just you know made sense. So that was just a, just a knockout for that month, uh, regardless. So I'll just go with uh, you know I I will go with August. Ultimate knockout. Yes. All right. Next ones we got up, uh, and that was just so anybody you know remembers. Uh, four for August, one for May, and August goes on to the next uh, section. So the next ones we have is April and September on the roster. Let me pull this up real quick. Web browser. And uh, let's see, April, we had Dirt Rally 2.0 and Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. And in September, we had Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and Street Fighter V. Uh, Josh is up first. Uh, I'm going to have to go with April. Um, mostly because, I, and I think that September's game are, just because I think the games are better. Um Player Unknown's ba- ba- Battlegrounds works on PlayStation, but it's I would much <laughs> rather use a keyboard and mouse for it. And then two Street Fighter Five was a was a garbage fire of a fucking game, and like rude. Well, it was. I mean, yeah. like they almost made it. It was like a free to play thing that we got for free on PlayStation Plus. Like, come mm-hmm. on, man! Like <laughs> they should have just gave us like the championship come edition on, and like gave us all the fighters and everything like that. Cause that mm-hmm. was a very terrible suite of a fighting game that they gave us. So just for that, um, I think uncharted four and the other one dirt rally and dirt rally 2.0 yeah. just were just more solid games. All right. So that is one vote for April. Next one up is Chevy. Okay. So just real quick, it's uh dirt rally and uncharted in, April and PUBG and Street Fighter Five in September. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> man, this is a rough one. Uh, not it, my choice is actually really easy. There's three games here I just did not like. So, uh, Uncharted Four pretty much wins. April definitely was the better month. Yeah. Um, PUBG is way outside of my my type of gameplay, and I also could not stand playing that on a controller. Uh, Street Fighter V is probably one of my least favorite fighting games I've ever played. 
God damn. Dirt Rally. Yeah, it was rough. <laughs> I don't even remember playing it. So Cody yeah. likes Street Fighter. Uh, I do. You're killing the kid. Hey, you hurt me personally. <laughs> I'm not my not my cup of tea. I uh I'm definitely a guilty gear person, so Yeah. Fair enough. So that's two votes for April, none for September. Chris, it's up to you to uh Make or break this. Ah, no, it's broken. I'm also going to go with April. For pretty much the same reasons as Chevy. Uh, the only game that carried it for me was Uncharted 4. Didn't really care for Dirt Rally. In fact, I don't like Chevy. I don't really remember playing it much. Um, PUBG on PlayStation was odd and felt kind of dated. And Street Fighter felt... I, I like fighting games a lot. But Street Fighter V, the one that they gave us, felt very uh, hollow and empty. Mm. So April. For sure. All right, Cody. You don't get to uh, participate in uh, what wins, but you get to say what you thought. Yeah, it was going to be April no matter what. I mean, Uncharted 4, I mean, you get in that game, you know, that is, it's, that's a, you know, that's, it's a ridiculous game to get for free just because it, it, it's a staple for the console. Um, although I did buy Street Fighter V when it first came out. Like when it originally came out, so you thought you thought you're getting a shell of a game when you got it up for free on PlayStation Plus. <laughs> I bought that shit the first week, so uh, yeah, that was that was a hard one. Um, and I, I the, when I first bought it, I literally played it for like maybe a month, and then I haven't been back to it. So I was burned by that game, you know, a little bit. So just on the premises of that, uh, April is a, is a solid win. Because Uncharted 4. I mean, that game yeah. is ridiculously good. So, Yeah. Um, all right. So let's see. The last, or I'm the last one. We got uh, Player Unknown, Street Fighter 5, and uh, fucking, I was like Call of Duty, Uncharted 4, and Dirt Rally 2.0. I, yeah, I have to go with April. Um, I'm, I'm a huge Nidog fan, huge Uncharted fan. Yeah. So that's a great game. I bought that when it came out. It's cool to revisit it. Um, I, I think I'm the only one who didn't hate Dirt Rally 2.0. Um, I didn't love it, but I kind of dug yeah. it. Um, so that was a solid month for me. Not as solid. I mean, you know, if they replaced Dirt Rally with something else, it would have been much better of a month. But, um, you know. This is a hard game to get into. Yeah, it's for sure. It's just like well, a, a racing simulator. It's yeah. not like, a, oh, I want to race. It's like, you better love racing. Cause, yeah, uh, like sim racing, too. It's, it's, not, it's yeah, not an arcade racer. Yeah, it's going to your face. Street yeah. Fighter Five. You guys pretty much said, you know, what I would say. It, uh, yeah. Even even when I had this conversation on Reddit uh, for Plus Club, um, people who were fans of Street Fighter Five said they wished that they gave the Champion Edition uh, out because it's great and they love it. And, but nobody pushed back when you know when they heard what I had to say about it feeling kind of uh, overburdened and and kind of free to play esque feeling. That you know they were just like, man, yeah. it sucks. They didn't give you guys you know the legit version. So. Yeah, I, I don't really need to say anything else on that. And PUBG, I actually like PUBG on PC. On PS4, hey, I think you said it, it works. Mm-hmm. It plays. <laughs> um, holy fuck that community, though. Holy shit. It, go back and watch that episode at the very end. You get to see one of the guys I dealt with playing that game. And I'm very well suited with dealing with assholes on the internet. But uh, <laughs> it, it, it was... <laughs> it was... Um, it was interesting. So that that community, every game I got into, somebody was a character. So that is five votes for April. April steamrolls uh, September, and uh, we move on to the next one. Unless somebody else has something to say. Good. Yeah. All right. Next one we got is January versus February, and uh, let's pull it up. I need a button for this. Uh, January and February. This is gonna be real easy. Uh, we had Goat Simulator and Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. We got all the Uncharted's in one year. That's wild. Mm, and yeah, then in February, yeah, we got the old triple. We got Bioshock, the collection, two games, Firewall, Zero Hour, and The Sims 4. And I believe we're starting with Chevy this time. Or mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Firewall. I remember that. Yeah, I tried to get you to play it because you have PSVR, but you just didn't do it. You're like, nah. Oh, yeah, I don't want to hook it up. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the burden of VR is you have to uh, you have to be ready for it. Yeah. So I can't really use that as a, a means to judge that month. Um, man. So 
So I do enjoy Sims. Um, and actually did play quite a bit uh, that month just to just because it was really easy to kind of like lose time to it. Though I had to constantly like remember what I was pushing because the game definitely is a keyboard and mouse game, like 100%. This is a they game a that job. when we all talked about it, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but we all talked about it and we were we enjoyed playing it, but we all said that we wish we were playing it on PC because yeah, people 100%. people on Reddit were like, oh, you can plug a mouse and keyboard or something to play that game. Yeah, we're yeah. like, oh, interesting. <laughs> which is which is what I would totally do. So the fact that you you have access to that game, um, and with you know the full access to that game on uh, PlayStation, it's great. So um, obviously my experience was with the controller, but like you said, uh, getting that knowledge later of having keyboard and mouse support just across the board, um, I think is huge points for the game. So I have to get big credit for that. Bioshock is a great collection of games that I'm not fond of, but they are great games. So. <laughs> It's three um, games. That's I, five games in one month. Yeah. Did you play the third one, Chevy? Infinite? Yeah. I, I, yeah, did, Infinite. I beat that one. Uh, okay. I did enjoy that one. The, the first two, not so much. I dabbled in them just so I you know, had a reference point when we talked about it. But sure. uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed Bioshock Infinite. Uh, Ghost Simulator is a fun one and done, and I had already played it in the past, so playing it again wasn't very interesting. Uh but if you hadn't played it, I, I think it's a it's a good fun game to play. And then Uncharted Collection is just a ridiculous get. Uh, yeah, three Uncharted games, three Bioshock games. I mean, this this is a pretty crazy matchup. Uh, that being said, I think the one game I'd probably play the most would be Uncharted Collection, because I could just go back and keep playing that. Um, I could do that with Sims as well, but Sims I, I'd experience burnout. So I'm gonna go with January. All right, one vote for January. Chris, you are you are up. Um, for these two months, it's basically two big gets and two kind of toss-away gets. You've got both collections, which are the big gets, and then The Sims 4 and Ghost Simulator are kind of like the toss-aways for each month. Um, but for me, it's it's the games that I enjoy the most, which would be the Bioshock collection. I just I really enjoy playing those games a lot. Well, I did play a lot of the Uncharted games, and it's a really great collection. Personally, I just like the aesthetics of the Bioshock games. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's going to be February. All right, short and simple. That's one and one. We got a game going now. Um, Cody. Uh oh. Oh, this one was cut. This was kind of rough because uh, I actually I like Goat Simulator. And it has charm. Um, it's a ridiculous game, um, but the glitchiness and all like the secret, it, it just reminds me of like Tony Hawk's pro skater. Oh yeah. Um, uh, it, yeah, it's just ridiculous. Like there's just so many, uh, um, my girlfriend's son, Vincent, he plays it all the time and he's always showing me like new things to get in the game that I, like, I have no idea what to get. So there's just all these like different goats you can get you climb on top of different you know objects and jump off there's just different you know just uh achievements all that kind of stuff uh as in january uh nathan drake collection is amazing i love both those games they're 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 so good um i thought originally when they first came out like the nathan drake collection that online would be available to that uh that wasn't the case that would have been kind of cool i don't know um I know they had it because four had just released when they released the during or uh, after the a thieves end came out. So I thought maybe they would, um, uh, you know, have online for that, but it wasn't the case. Uh, as far as for February, I mean, Bioshock the collection. I, you get three games. Uh, I think two personally kind of trash i like one and i love how, how fucking polarized people are on bioshock because <laughs> yeah. people just, yeah. people yeah. either like bioshock too or they fucking hate it i've yeah. heard people say it's the best bioshock it's okay oh. i guess trash should be i don't know it just wasn't it wasn't the same i don't know it's just like the feeling i i you just don't get the same feeling when you played the first one the first when i played bioshock one it was just it was creepy it was it was, it was just super creepy uh infinite was just one of those games that just it still sticks with me for a long time there's things in that game that i remember still um playing i played it all in one setting and uh or one sitting and it, w- it was it was very it was very memorable um and sims 4 i, I didn't play firewall because I, I don't i didn't have vr 
Um, Sims 4 is The Sims, but again, I will agree with bo- uh, with all you guys on uh, it. Will it, Sims plays better on PC? That's just um, that that's just known. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm going to go with February though. Um, basically for Bioshock, um, I think that's a good one. I think that's a really really good. Um, if ju- basically just for that month, I think that's a good collection of games to have, even if you don't like the other two games. If you don't have VR or you don't like The Sims, um, you're still getting three games. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, okay, I actually get to be relevant in this one. Um, so yeah, January Goat Simulator. I'm not a big fan of it. I played it when it came out. Uh, the novelty of it was fun then, but now that we're in a post. Uh, goat simulator world um that that uh it, uh it's it's not it, the the meme of it doesn't exist anymore and i, I couldn't get yeah, into it yeah it's um, over it feels yeah, like an sure. undercooked undermade game and they do that on purpose but that's what it is uh uncharted nathan jerry collection that's the three fucking uncharted games i love uncharted no multiplayer didn't think about that but uh great games i was more excited for other people to get these uh than I was for myself to play it honestly just because I was like oh shit people who might not play these games will now be able to play them um so that's really cool and then February Bioshock collection is great you get you know infinite you get one and two um I'm not the biggest Bioshock fan but I appreciate the the world uh story lore building um world building of those games it's just the gameplay itself I'm not like a huge huge fan of but uh infinite man I fucking I really dug um experiencing that game firewall zero i'm a fan of i think it's really cool um nobody played it but uh i have played it (laughs) and uh it's it's pretty cool i actually bought that game i bought the uh vr uh rifle fucking Mm -hmm. controller Mm -hmm. i forgot what it's called um for that game and uh it's it's a lot of fun and then sims 4 is the sims 4 i mean if you've ever played a sims game it's fucking sims with more sims Mm -hmm. stuff in it it's just you know i played on controller wasn't that great wanted to play on pc could have plugged in a mouse and keyboard i learned from many people uh nobody was a dick about it very appreciated thank you um and uh, yeah, so this may come as a surprise. I'm gonna pick February. The reason I'm picking February is because Bioshock, that's three games, three great games. People love it. And uh, I'm a fan of uh, a couple of them. I like Firewall and Sims 4 is fine. I didn't hate it, but you know, it's fine. I love Uncharted, don't like Goat Simulator. So 50% of that month wasn't that great. Um, whereas February I think was a solid month. So that is my vote for February. That means that uh, January loses, February wins. Josh, what were you going to pick? January. Um, to me, January just was the better deal. Um, except for Goat Simulator came out when they did like that Octodad Surgeon Simulator, oh. weird physics kind of games yeah. that were all memes when they first came out. But then Goat Simulator never backed it up with anything. So, you know, the game just went into obscurity until, you know, they gave it for free. Um, Sims 4 played like ass, so I just wasn't into it. Um, But um, my main thing was the Bioshock games are good, and they're really good. Um, My biggest problem with them, them is that the gameplay for me isn't, isn't really good at all. Um, I, I always find myself not having to branch out with the tools in the arsenal that they give you. Oh, I find like the one I way that kills everything. And I just, I use the lightning bolt and the shotgun yeah. and I went through the whole game like that. Yep. And the game literally gives you no other reason to use the other tools. Um, Unless you're curious about yeah. that. Like you want to be like the most optimal you can be. Mm. There is a build for that. And yeah. And, and I did the same thing throughout all, all three storylines were great but i will never go back to those games the worlds are great dude mm-hmm. like even i think infinite is like so vibrant and beautiful to look at but like yeah. bioshock the original uh one that world is so like realized mm-hmm. like they're, they're i can't think of a game or anything that looks like that world yeah um it's yeah, really they really dreamed up out. really great worlds and they fucking realized them mm-hmm. um but the nathan drake collection was such a good get one two and three those were just amazing games. So that's why January would have been the pick for me. 
Yeah, that was uh, that was a hard one for me because obviously I love Uncharted, but Goat Simulator just did not matter to me. So mm-hmm. it's like it dragged it down for me. All right, anything else? No. All right, so February moves on to the next round, and lastly we have November and June, and this one will be started by Chris, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so let's look at what we had in uh, November and June, and in. Uh, let's see. June, we had Call of Duty World War II and uh, Star Wars Battlefront II. And then we had in November uh, Bug Snacks on PS5. Um, that one doesn't have to really dictate your vote because I know a lot of people might not have played it. Um, and then Hollow Knight and Middle Earth Shadow of War. I feel like we just played these. Um, we did. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Chris. It's in November. Mm, let's see here. Shooters, adventure <laughs> games, <Yeah>. shooters, <laughs> adventure games. You had fun. So you're gonna pick. I you're gonna pick uh, your June for Call of Duty World War Two, right? Exactly. Totally. One of the best Call of Duties um, ever. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the only ones I ever, one of the only ones I ever want to play. Um, I did play a, a Star Wars Battlefront two and had a lot of fun. Um, for the most part. But uh, I play. I play. I did play Bug Snacks, Hollow Knights, and Middle Earth, um, and I really like the bugged theme games <laughs> of that month. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, Hollow Knight is like a Metroidvania game, um, but it's got a fun atmosphere, design to it that's very unique and stands out a lot. You can tell instantly uh, when you look at any kind of art assets from Hollow Knight that it is from Hollow Knight. Um, Bug Snacks is quirky and it, whatever. Nobody, not everybody gets a chance to play it but i did and uh it was fun um middle earth felt dated but i'm a big lord of the rings nerd so it's it's gonna be november for me pretty easy for me to pick it's not pretty easy um that's one vote for november uh cody you're up do you, you have the list right november and june mm-hmm. yes um june i didn't play World War two um I really am just not interested. I don't know what else to say about that one. Just didn't didn't strike my fancy. Mm-hmm. Just wasn't that thing. Star Wars Battlefront 2 was really fucking fun. Uh I know we played it. We all played it before. I know it was, you know, me, you, Chris, Psycho. Um yeah, it was I fun. can't remember. It was really was there, but yeah, it was super fun playing it. Uh and I had played it before and I had played it originally um when it first came out i don't remember when because i did not buy that but it was um when with everything released with it and there's no you know when the first came out there was just like nothing to it It, you know it just seemed it just seemed very hollow um and when they released it on this one just kind of seemed like you you had everything you had everything you needed to have a good time and it was it it was just fun um the game plays fine you know it, it, it just plays it, it, it was actually it, when you get a lot of it, it's a game to play with your friends like get everybody Definitely. together and just play it you know just have a good time um and then uh november um uh, I, I i've dabbled a little bit i haven't played this edition of hollow knight but i've played a little bit of it um and it's fun it's fun it's uh like uh, chris said it's a metrovania kind of game uh if you if you're into that stuff you're you're definitely gonna have a good time um, there's a lot to it. It's very, very, very popular. Um, and as far as Middle Earth, uh, Shadow of War, I actually have not played this one. I'm I'm still on the cusp of beating the last one. So this one is uh, is definitely it, it's it's in my library. So I'm waiting to play it. Um, so, but this one, I don't know. For, you're getting that extra. You're getting that extra game for Bug Snacks too. You know, when if you do have a PS5, I mean, eventually, if you have PlayStation Plus and you have a PS5, you're gonna have that game, right? Yeah. Would it be in your library. As long as you claimed it. Yeah. So, oh, okay. Okay. So I did not claim it. So I probably I will not have that. Yeah, you gotta buy <laughs> that now, five. son. No. Yeah. So I mean, good um, disclaimer to throw out there, though. Get the PlayStation Plus app or PlayStation app. On your phone and claim the games even if you don't have ps5 that way we get fun. one you have yeah I, I have the other two i just i did not get that one 
Um, I'm just going to throw it out there. I just because honestly, I, I really did have a good time with Star Wars, Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, to uh, I'm gonna go for June, um, just because I had a really good time playing that. The multiple times I played it. All right, uh, that's one for each. Uh, next up, oh shit, it's me. Um, <laughs> well, fuck. Uh, Call of Duty World War Two has always been one of the Call of Duties I say was like one of the meh ones. There's bad ones, there's great ones, there's good ones, and then there's the meh ones. Returning to it in its current state and seeing what the fuck they did with this game, I think it's one of the worst Call of Duties ever made. So I don't like this game at all. Battlefront 2, uh, the exact opposite. It started bad. It ended really good. Uh, I really enjoyed playing this game. I thought it was fucking awesome. I couldn't stop playing it with or without people. Like I was playing it regardless, but playing with friends was fucking dope. I'd be down to do it again. Um, So that's a tough month for me because I really liked Battlefront 2. And I was stoked to like Battlefront 2 because it's a game that I didn't want to like. Uh, for a while yeah. and then i played it and i just can't deny that it's a great game um and then november bug snacks uh hollow knight and middle earth shadow of war you know bug snacks getting a fucking playstation 5 game one playstation 5 releases on playstation plus it's a huge uh, bde fucking move <laughs> uh it uh it, it was it was a good plan uh, for them to do that, and it was dope. That's another game that I'd planned on buying that I just got on PlayStation Plus, which shows mm-hmm. the value of PlayStation Plus. PlayStation, if you're listening, you should fucking sponsor the show because look at all this advertising I'm doing for you. What a great yeah. fucking deal. Um, Hollow Knight, I wasn't as in love with it as everybody else was. Um, I, you know, I, I thought the art style was cool. The gameplay's fine. I hear it's really hard. I didn't play it enough. I, I probably won't play it enough to find that out. But it's 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 a fun game. It's not bad. And then Middle Earth Shadow 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 of War. Um, man, I just had played Ghost of Tsushima a lot, and it is better than that game in almost every single way. Um, yeah. So fuck, man. This is really for me like Bug Snacks versus Battlefront Two. Um, I think I'm gonna pick June, which is weird. So and this is tough because I think November actually is the more balanced and better month and the most value. But when I think of all the games here, Battlefront 2 I just had the most fun with. So um, I'm going to pick June, which is, I'm surprised to even say that. So Wild. All right, next one up is Josh. June. Um, I'm going to go... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with November. Um, as much, like... I, I it was a really weird move for Sony to give you World War II in the midst of, in my opinion, one of the better Call of Duties in the last ten years um, with Modern Warfare. Yeah, it's like um, if someone handed you a gourmet meal and you're like, "This tastes delicious," and then they spit in your cup. You're like, Here's your drink. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> like, it's like what bro? the bro? Like, dude, you don't got to insult me. Yeah, and World War II. You're gonna say like it's weird to hand out. World War Two in the middle of a pandemic. I was like, yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's a fucking, it's a crime. That's, dude. that's a but, fucking, that's that's a war crime. <laughs> one of one of many twenty twenty things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but World World War Two, it, it just wasn't good. In fact, so good, it wasn't. It, it wasn't. It was so bad that they took that team off, and now they just support. They don't even build Call of Duties anymore. So. Yeah. Um, I, I, I am just going to have to go with November because Star Wars Battlefront 2 was good, um, but I only played it with you guys. And then I was like, all right, I, I kind of got what I needed. And then um, November, Bug Snacks was fun. It was like almost like a Pokemon Snap-esque um, adventure, um, just trying to catch shit. Uh, Hollow Knight is a legit Metroidvania Um it's it's art style is really big. It's kind of kind of Tim Burton esque, um, but you know what you're looking at. It's just one of those games when you look at it, you're like that's Hollow Knight, you know, as much as you like Ori or anything like that. And then Middle Earth Shadow War, I think is is a legit good game. Um, I will say, in the age of Ghost of Tsushima and the new Assassin's Creeds, that waiting for them to that spider sense, waiting for them to attack like Batman combat mm-hmm. um is dated as hell 
It's, yeah, it for is. Sure. It's not a bad game. Yeah, but yeah it is. It does feel dated. Mm-hmm. And then, then the genres come so far. Yeah, and then the Nemesis system I actually really enjoyed because oh, yeah. you're like, because that whole game is trying to get you know you're getting better loot, um, so you can almost curate fighting these people, you know, and like shaming them or doing whatever to raise their level up to make it harder, you know, to make them harder. And then and then once you finally kill them, you get that nice just piece of loot, and you're like, yes. Um, Give me that nice piece of loot. So, yeah. So, I, in my opinion, November was a better month. So, I confused myself. Has Chevy gone? Nope. No. Okay. So, we're we're tied then. Yep. Uh, I put in three X's on one of them, and I was like, wait. I don't think Chevy said anything. Mm-mm. So, uh, <laughs> so we are uh, 50-50 on June and November. I think I have a feeling where we're going with this, but let's have Chevy determine that. <laughs> I, this is actually pretty tricky. Uh, I enjoyed Bug Snacks more than I thought I would, which was good. But it is a very short experience. Um, Hollow Knight, I like playing it. I felt like I had played it already. So um, the only thing it really had to offer for me was its art style. And then Middle Earth. It's full of good ideas, but it's just a super clunky experience. I had a hard time with that. Uh, Call of Duty World War II was probably one of the worst Call of Duty experiences I have gone through, and I don't play very many of them. It's bad. Yeah. Fucking horrible. And then, uh, Star Wars Battlefront Two was a lot of fun. Uh, more than I was expecting. Had interesting modes, like the the Ewoks versus the Stormtroopers. Yeah. Trooper. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Terrifying. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just and then I got to play with more people than I I'm used to being able to play a game with, so it just had a lot of pleasant surprises. So I have to pick June. Wow, nice. that that's fucking mind Very blowing. Nice. Star Wars wins again. <laughs> crazy. It's funny how Star Wars did what Street Fighter Five didn't. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they gave us the best version of Battlefront Two and not the best version of Street Fighter Five. So smart though. Yeah, Cox. Got him. <laughs> All right. So surprising to me, uh, June makes it into the next. I mean, I thought going into that, I was going to pick November because I was like most value. But then, like I thought about, it, I was like, dude, I really liked Battlefront too. That was really fun. Very but fun. I think mostly because like fun. the social aspect of it as well. So, um. All right. So that is it for the first tier. We're moving to the second tier. Who went first last? Was that Cody? No, Cody Chris. gets to go. Cody gets to start. Cody time. starts. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this will be July versus August. Let's do a refresher on what August was. I feel like we just talked about it. Um, and uh, yeah, so July and August. In July, we played NBA 2K20, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Erica. Um, and then in August, right? Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Campaign Remastered, and Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Um, I, so Rise of the Tomb Raider is the first one, correct? Yes. The first, re, the first reboot game? I think so. Okay, good. Okay, yes. Um, that one was good. Uh, I think we had really talked about that game. That game was kind of hardcore because they had, like, taken a huge jump when it comes to, like, um, that was like the reboot game right and it was a big mm-hmm. deal it, it plays it's very fun um the gameplay is really solid there's just like weird things of the game where it's just like very like story driven and it kind of just like rehashes a lot of like the old school uh laura craft lore with her dad stuff like that um which is good. Also, like the, the the all the acting in the game is great. But then there's like all these weird, like when Laura dies, I, that became a fascination with me. It was like when, whenever she dies, it's just like very graphic. Oh yeah. Uh, like very hardcore. And we've talked about it a couple times where you could just like see the light leave her eyes. <laughs> like yeah. really hard. It's like one of the shit. first games I ever played. Where I mean, I think I, I I've been playing Yakuza like a dragon lately, and there's most of the games <laughs> like fun and charming, and like it's kind of like almost like an anime. But there's this scene; yeah. it's not a spoiler, I guess, because I'm not going to be context. But these two guys get shot by seven people, just unloaded on like thirty rounds. And one of the, one of the guys is on the ground, full of bullet holes, bleeding everywhere, and he looks up at the guy, and the guy shoots him right in his head. 
And oh I think God. that's almost as bad as how bad they treat Laura Croft in fucking Tomb Raider. <laughs> oh, it's it's terrible. Like it's, it's crazy, it's, dude. Yeah, it, it's it is crazy. Um, but that being said, yeah, so it's basically like you just want to die in every way possible just to see how hardcore they get. Like and Mortal just Kombat. Spoiler, it gets hardcore. It gets crazy. Yeah, like it's like fatalities. Mortal Kombat level. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it's fun. You know what I mean? It was. It's just like it's it, it's. I don't know, kind of hard to explain. It's almost like a f- how I felt was almost like a third person snuff uh, film. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Manhunt. The, basically. Uh, but it, 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 it anyway, it was it's a good entry to a new game. Like the the rest of the games that they that they have are um, are, are good. It's a good entry to that game. Um it's it, it's a it's worth playing. I I'll, I'll say that. Definitely worth playing. I honestly don't remember Erica. So, <coughs> if anybody could <coughs> remind me on that, I definitely Erica don't remember is an that. interactive game that they want you to play with your phone, but you can do it with a controller in which you watch a movie, and then when choices and stuff come up, you have to do stuff on your phone to interact with it. I was not. I was never going to play that game. So <laughs> I, I played it happen. for like a split second, uh, <laughs> and I stopped playing it. So that's not a good sign. I'm pretty sure it was announced as a bonus game that month it was gotcha okay because realized no one was gonna uh, it didn't fucking be, buy it uh oh what's that that's because they realized no one was gonna fucking buy it yeah pretty Ooh. much yeah <laughs> uh and nba 2k uh, 20 like if you're into those types of games are very like i i haven't played any of the recent uh iterations of them but i used to play nba 2k way back in the day they're very they're they used i mean i think still that the like the tier when it comes to NBA games, uh, they're very simulator esque. Very like they're almost like um, the Ma- uh, Madden equivalent of the NBA mm-hmm. games. So they're pretty. I mean, if you are into the sports games and basketball games, uh, to be more specific, this is pretty much the game you want to get. So that's a good deal. Uh, it's nice when they throw those kinds of games in there because it is kind of a mix between. Say like Laura, you know, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is an action adventure game, um, slash snuff film, you know, <laughs> simulator, um, and you know, you're also getting a sports game, which is great. So those those two games right there, even though I haven't played Erica, you know, that's that's a good um, that's a good month there. Um, when it comes again, uh, with Call of Duty uh, two. Um, I didn't play the remastered. I'm basically just going off of what I play. I love Modern Warfare 2. It's basically the game that got me into first-person shooters. Um, so I feel like everybody should play that game. Um, You're making me feel you know. right now. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, for real. It's like, you know, because it, it, that, that game got me into the competitive. Like, you know, when I if I played... Because I play first-person shooters now, it's, you know, it's because of that game. Yeah. Um, very very fun game the campaign's awesome you know just very memorable um going against you know fall out guys or, or fall guys fall guys <laughs> fall guys uh ultimate knockout ah this one is rough um i'm gonna go august uh, i'm gonna stick with my original i picked august before uh fall guys is I don't know. It's a big de- it's a big deal to me. Yeah. Um, I feel like more people. I think still now, uh, people will still be playing that game. You know, for you know, for at least a few years, no one's gonna be playing Rise of the Tomb Raider or NBA Two K Twenty or Erica or Erica. I already forgot about it. And, and in your future, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so August, I pick August. All right, that's one vote for August. I'm gonna make this real fucking easy. I'm picking August. Yeah. Um, I like Oof. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two a lot. Yeah. I like Fall Guys, and I think it's awesome that they released that on release of the game yeah. on PlayStation Plus for free. That was fucking yeah. BDE. Um, oddly enough, in Ju- July, NBA Two K Twenty was the game I think I enjoyed the most. That's a weird thing for me to say. Rise of the Tomb Raider is a snuff film. Um, that's that's fun enough, but. Um, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of them, and I and we we discussed this, and and so for anybody who's mm. listens uh, to when I say stuff like that, they're like, dude, that, those games are great. My biggest complaint is I don't think that the characters in the games are that likable, and so I can't get invested yeah. in the game. Um, 
you know, they just work, they function, they do what they're supposed to do. My dad wasn't crazy. I got to find out what he was trying to find and shit. But then like, I'm like, I don't care if Laura fucking dies or not. I don't want to watch her die like for five minutes. (laughs) Um, That's, that's the difference. And then Erica, you know, I like when people experiment and make these kind of interesting games, but the interactive movie thing's been done a million times and do it again if you can make it good. But this one wasn't enough to really change my mind on that kind of thing. So I think August is like such an easy fucking decision that I mean I almost feel like I'm insulting myself for even discussing it. Um, Josh, uh, August is winning because I'm also going with August. Um, NBA 2K20, I, I installed it and it's like it's ready to play, and then oh, I just let dude, you, yeah, you I just let you that. play that those two hoops. teams, yeah, and then you could just play those for like an hour, and the and then like by the time I was like, all right, I pretty much got what this game's about before the game even installed. Um, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. I played it back when it was out for the 360. So I was just like, "All right, oh know, shit, I, I did it back then." Yeah, yeah that, <laughs> that's wild. Oh yeah, I, uh, that's a long time ago. You know, I was like, "All right, I did it," and you know, I had no reason to come back to it again. Um, and then Erica, uh, I just was never going to play in the first place. Um, it is a that was the same time like ba- Black Mirror Bandersnatch came out. Yep. So oh, yeah. like I was like, all right, I'm kind of you know I don't want to do this again. I only got halfway through Banner Snatch before I shut that shit off. So, um, <laughs> Chris almost borderline looks annoyed because I don't, even I don't think he knows what you're talking is. about. Yeah. Like and, the choose uh, your own. Netflix. Anyways, I wasn't gonna play yeah. Erica in the first place, so August wins. All right, that means August wins. July is disqualified, but of course we need to know what Chevy and Chris think. So Chevy. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I didn't play Erica. Um, who did? I don't. Huh? I said, who even did? Me and three other people. <laughs> I'll say you. Uh, it it was a bonus game, so I knew, like, it wasn't going to be, like, a major part of the discussion. So I just ended up skipping that one. Um, I hate sports games, man. <laughs> like, so... 2K20 just did nothing for me. I always try them in hopes that maybe, you know, I'll find something there and understand the appeal, but I, it's lost on me. Uh, like Seth, I'm not a big Tomb Raider fan. I don't necessarily have anything, like, majorly against them. I just never find them super entertaining. Um, they just exist, pretty much. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 is one of the better stories in a, in a shooter. Um and it was a treat to see it redone. And then Fall Guys, we like we said before, uh, was just quite a an event in gaming. So August. Yeah. Oof. All right, that's four votes for August. And Chris, what would you have voted for? Um, <laughs> I had more fun playing Rise of the Tomb Raider than anything else between both months. So. I was going to pick July. <laughs> All right, that's one vote sweet. for July. Yeah, as soon as you start laughing, I was like, oh, yeah, Fall Guys. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Shooter. He likes, he likes watching her die. He likes watching Laura die. That's right, kill her, kill her. That's why I play this. That's my jam. That's my jam. Kill that girl over and over again. Dabbed by a log. Oh, dude, yeah. Into that... Rocks. I wonder, I'm sure there's got to be like a compilation out there of all her deaths because oh, they're so sure. ridiculous. Okay. All right. Anything else you guys want to say? Uh, next. Moving on. <laughs> we are doing April and March, and I believe I start this one. Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. So April and March, uh, right next to each other again. Perfect. Um, is that on the screen? It is. So uh, in March, we got Shadow of the Colossus, the remaster, and Sonic Forces, the um, game that appeals to a specific demographic of people who like to make um, animal people. And then, uh, let's see, what was the other one? April, uh, Dirt Rally 2.0, and Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Man, um, I'm going to go with April, um, just because Uncharted 4, I love uh, Dirt Rally. I liked 
Um, Sonic Forces was actually better than I thought it was going to be, but it wasn't anything amazing. But I liked it more than I thought I was going to. Uh, and Shadow of the Colossus, I think, was a legit remaster. I think it was done really well. Um, I'm just not the biggest, don't fucking kill me, I'm not the biggest Shadow of the Colossus fan. <laughs> I appreciate it, but I'm not like a diehard crazy fan for it. Um, but I am for Uncharted 4. Um, so April is my vote. Um, Josh. Speaking of remasters, I think... The guys who did Shadow of the Colossus, Blue Point, did the Dark Demon Souls. The Demon Souls remake. Yeah. So like that's just yep. that's straight They're up good. like they need to give them somebody should buy them and then There just, was a rumor they were gonna, I'm like, that makes sense, do it. Yeah, hundred percent. Um It's it's no secret. I badmouth Shadow of the Colossus every chance I get. I <laughs> hate that fucking game. Um <laughs> and I'm probably gonna get cruc- crucified for it, but strap me up because i can't stand that fucking game um <laughs> then sonic forces was i was okay i think sonic forces is, is a better game than shadow of of the colossus and i 100 percent. you're fucking burning it down right now fight dude, me dude. <laughs> and then uh fucking armageddon dude april of course uh uncharted 4 is the standout there and that's what that's the reason why uh plus i just fucking hate shadow of the colossus april's your vote mm-hmm. all right that's two for april chevy you're up you can make or break this shit burn to the ground if you want to any game you really hate <laughs> wrap up tell people uh, to fight you no, over it i have no passionate feelings uh for the month Ever. so for anything uh, <laughs> josh is rich josh is more passionate than for the rest of us like he's fucking <laughs> crucify me baby strap me up dude Burn me up. Burn my ass. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Sorry. No, no, you're fine. Uh, so, yeah, we already talked about April a little bit. Dirt Rally was, like, I didn't love or hate. It was just I forgot about it. So, like, I can't really talk about it. And Shadow 4 is great. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus I appreciate, but uh, I don't enjoy personally. Uh, though seeing what they did with it was, was uh, very neat. And then Sonic Forces is not... For me, so April. That's for Sonic Fox. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What'd you vote for, Chevy? Hard. What's up? Did you vote? What'd you vote for? April. Oh, I didn't hear you. Okay, so that is April winning, uh, pretty easily. Um, but let's hear from Chris. Um. So, Shadow of the Colossus, like I said before, I felt like it's a big empty game. It's, but that's kind of the aesthetics of the game. But yeah. I didn't enjoy it that much. I enjoyed the scenery, but it felt empty. Sonic Forces, I played a chunk of that game, um, but I felt really weird going back and forth between classic Sonic controls and this new Sonic controls. Oh yeah. Um, but I'm always, I'm always down for games that have customization, and this has a shit ton of it. Um, Dirt Rally, I played half of one race and I was done. Uh, <laughs> Uncharted 4 I played I played a good chunk of but I, I I kind of enjoyed March more to be honest just because of the vast amount of customization that I'm kind of a whore for yeah so that's one vote for March yeah yeah all right and then Cody um April um just because Sully is fucking hot you know I want him to be my fucking my daddy, love him. <laughs> no, I, that's a good. It's a good reason. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, Uncharted Four. Uh, I, a Thief Sand is just one of those games. Like I don't. When they it came out, the fact that uh, I mean, I bought that game. It, it's great. I mean, it's just like that fucking that staple, that PS4 staple. Oh yeah. Um, the fact that they offered it for free is just crazy. Um, you know, you, you love. We all love the Uncharted games. Uncharted Four is just that that good where i feel like you need to play that game um so april for sure all right that's four chris is just the the odd man out this year well you know that's you know either fucking yeah. well I, it seems like they're all kind of steamrolling except for uh or january and february and november and june but everything else got fucking wrecked um yeah so next one uh you'll be starting mm-hmm. and that is uh, October and February. Let's look at what was there. Um, in what was it? February, we got Bioshock 
Firewall and mm-hmm. Sims 4. And then in October, we got Need for Speed Payback and Vampire. I'm actually going to have to go with February for this one. Um, Need for Speed Payback was a lump of shit. Um, <laughs> it just wasn't fun to play. No one's going to crucify you um, for that one. Vampire was pretty cool. Um, Vampire! But it was like... <laughs> had jank to it it was like oh, one yeah. of those games it's like janky um good jank yeah yeah it's like that good euro jank um but i i, I thought it was i thought it was a decent little rpg but um about shot collection kind of trumps that one for me so as much as bad as sims was to play on console it was serviceable and fun um need for speed pack was garbage vampire is good <laughs> but Feb- so february is my month all right, that's one vote for February. Chevy, you're up next. Okay. Uh, I already talked about February, so I'm not going to go too into it. Um, October, New Speed. I remember the racing being met and the uh, theme being obnoxious. So, uh, not too It's all long. about family. Yeah. And uh, Vampire was surprising in some ways, but it wasn't enough to necessarily carry it, but it had some neat ideas, and I, I kind of would like to see that maybe expanded upon. Uh, but out of every game here, I, I'd probably only return to, this is awful, uh, Sims 4, so <laughs> uh, February. That is two votes for February. I just remember Vampire fucking... You know, if you're uh, if you if if you want want a game about family, play fucking Need for Speed Payback. But if you want breathy fucking uh, dude with a shirt half open on an erotic novel, you play Vampire. Cause that guy the whole time was just fucking looking real nice, looking very as Cody would say, very daddy looking. He's just fucking. Who am I? Where am I? That's the whole game. <laughs> Who are you? Oh my God! I killed my sister. That's the whole like game. Like Anne Rice. And yeah, it's very. Like, that if that's your thing. October is perfect. Chris. Uh, for family uh, and sex uh, time. Yeah. Go on, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Chris, you're up. Uh, yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's pretty much the same as everybody else says. Uh, Need for Speed was a joke. <laughs> like, fucking weird ass game. I like Need for Speed games. Um, Vampire, I like the aesthetics of it, but some of the gameplay was not so great. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm also going to go with February, to be honest, just because Bioshock really carried it for me. Yeah, steamrolling. You'll love to see it. Um, Cody, February, February wins, by the way. That's right. It's going to be the one. Good month. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's just basically cool. for Bioshock. I mean, it, <laughs> that was, that was going to be it. That's all I have to say. Um, no, February. I mean, it, yeah, it's just that basically was a just honestly just for Bioshock it, in my eyes. It's it's just worth it. What are your me. thoughts on October? Uh, I didn't play them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Yeah, but uh, any interest in any of those games? It. What? The Any interest in Need for Speed yeah. Payback or Vampire? Uh, Vampire, yeah. I was just interested. I, I, I honestly didn't know. I always got that one. And uh, I know it's not the same game, but uh, I mean, was I don't even know what you did in Vampire. Like, what is it? Was oh, it I explained RPG? it. You're trying to find out who are you, oh, who am um, I, yeah. what's happening. <laughs> My sister's is that it, dead. Basically? I did that. So, yeah, Bioshock. I'll take Bioshock any <laughs> day. I'll take that. <laughs> um. And yeah. me? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> uh, or fuck, uh, February. I mean, February yeah. was obviously the better month. I don't even remember what was in it. I'm just looking at Need for Speed, and I'm like, any month's better than that month. Bioshock um, and Sims 4. And, and Sims 4. Fire, oh, dude, yeah, February's way fucking better. Way fucking better. Um, October, I mean, I've already gone. Go back and watch that episode if you want to hear me make fun of Need for Speed Payback. But that game's fucking garbage. I hate it. Um, the characters are lame. The story's fucking stupid. Uh, it's it's ridiculous. It's embarrassing. I, I had secondhand embarrassment playing that game. The racing feels like uh, when you're a little kid and you go on one of those uh, like uh, rides that feels like you're driving a car and you're stuck on a track. So when you 
turn left and right. You only go a little bit to the left and right because you're not actually driving. That's what driving in that game felt like. And no racing game should ever fucking feel like that. It's stupid. It's shit. Never make a game like that again. And then Vampire was fine. I just, like, I just like talking <laughs> like the guy from Vampire because he was... Uh, he wasn't even a bad voice actor. He was just turn, he was turned up to eleven a little like he was he was going a little too hard. Real subtle scenes, just like Ugh. I'm like okay, dude, fucking just I get things are rough, but in this world I'm looking at every character and looks things look a little rough for fucking everybody, right? I know you're a vampire, but everybody else looks like they're having a hard time too. And no one's talking like this, so um, yeah, February easy. Uh, all right. Moving into the next one, Chevy will be starting this, and this is June and December. Um, so, yeah, let's see. In December, what the fuck is all this? PlayStation Plus Collection. Oh, that's for mm-hmm. PS5. In December, ooh, we had uh, Just Cause 4, Rocket Arena, and Worms Rumble. And then in June, we had Call of Duty World War II. And I was about to say, how the fuck did that get ahead? But then Star Wars Battlefront 2. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, shall we take it away? Uh, hold on, getting a, th- this visually so I can talk about it. What was the engine again? I'll, I'll just look it up. Wait, did you say something? Yeah. Did you yeah, ask I a question? It. Yeah. What was the question? Uh, what well, was in June, but I, I got it. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> And that's kind of a hard one too. Um, I think I think value wise, uh, pretty even to be honest. As much as I'm not like necessarily fond of what's in both months, um, but the only there's only one game here I, I enjoyed playing, and that was Star Wars Battlefront. So I guess June. Fair enough. That's one vote for June. Oh, God, I keep doing this. Um, Yeah, so uh, Chris, you're up next. Uh, So you got shooters on one end and shooters on the other end. Wunderbar. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, Worms Rumble, I was disappointed because I didn't like the game style that they had for it. Rocket Arena (laughs) is, like we said, the Smash Brothers of shooter games. Yeah, um, it's not a bad thing for me because I really like Smash Brothers, but it didn't really stick out to me too much. Just Cause Four is more of the same. It's not bad. It's just an updated graphically. It's just more of the same. Um, but thinking back on it, I think I had the most fun playing Star Wars Battlefront Two with everybody. To be honest, so it's going to be June for me. All right, that is two for June, none for December. Um, we got Cody up next gonna be juney holy shit all right <clears throat> feeling star wars battlefront 2 yeah that was a pretty that's a pretty memorable one so i think for that one alone um just to, when we were talking about it before just uh how much fun we played and 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 the fact that we would go back and play it again which is um just said for uh, you know a few of these games on this list but that game for sure yeah we'll go back and play that one so june all right. Well, that let's uh, June pass to the next part of this, and December has been disqualified. Um, so yeah, June Call of Duty World War Two, which is fucking awful. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Although I would throw out there, Payback, Need for Speed Payback, probably I think the worst game this year. Um, but Call of Duty, pretty close. Uh, but Star Wars Battlefront, very good. Um, really dug that game. And then December, let's see, Just Cause 4, Rocket Arena, and Worms Rumble. Um, I would pick December. That's where my vote's going to go, only because Just Cause 4 is awesome. Um, I had more fun playing Battlefront 2, but I also enjoyed Rocket Arena. I also I didn't like Worms Rumble. But uh, but there's two games in December I dug, and only one I dug in June. So I would have picked December, but I respect you guys' decision because... Uh, that was probably the most fun I had out of all the games we've talked about so far. But I just think December for me is a more balanced uh, month of sure. games that I enjoyed. Uh, I would have went with December also, only because um, Star Wars Battlefront Two. Like I, I might play by myself, but I guarantee. I mean, the only way to play it is just Just Cause Four is by yourself. But um, 
I get. I definitely would. You can have a buddy playing. over and give them a control that's not plugged in. <laughs> be like, oh, what you doing? You're so good. And just play the game. Like your little brother. Are you, are you the bad guys? Um, <laughs> oh, you must be all those guys shooting at me. Mm-hmm. Let's Look see if you, you win. Look at you go. And uh, so good. but Just Cause Four was such an a, 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 all the tools they give you was insane. Um, balloons and strength of oh, balloons, yeah. strength of rockets. There's tornadoes in the map. There's all sorts of shit happening. Crazy weather, yeah. yeah. They, they have uh, guns with alternate fire and mm-hmm. way more shit going on. It was definitely an evolution of three. It's and, 3.8. Uh, and um, so I was that, that was a pretty good good get in my opinion. It was, it was only like seven months since the game released that we got it for free. So yeah. if anybody was holding off on it, you know, I mean, they just got it for free. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, Star Wars Battlefront Two was fun, like I said, but I didn't play that by I didn't play that by myself. Yeah. So, but I but Just Cause Four I would come back to. So. Did you play I, Rocket Arena or Worms Rumble? Worms Rumble was kind of a shell of what Worms is, so I wasn't into that. And then Rocket Arena, I didn't really dabble in. Fair. The mostly the aesthetic fucking was terrible in Rocket Arena. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, it's very. I, I thought visually it was fine, like graphically, but like visually, like style wise, it was like, damn, it was so generic. Mm-hmm. So that's, I think, the biggest weakness. That's the reason that game probably will never take off is because it's called Rocket Arena and it doesn't visually have an identity. Yeah. So it's just like forgettable, but gameplay wise, is a neat idea. Mm-hmm. All right, that is that. We're getting close to the end of this, which is a lot faster than I thought it would be. Um,. Next one, who starts? You? Who started last time? I think Chris starts this Chevy time. did. So it's me now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. See, this is why I need you guys to help me out because I'm yeah. drawing and I'm getting distracted. <laughs> um, so, Chris, you are up, and this is going to be between August and April to remind people who uh, might have forgot or are listening to this in audio form. If you haven't, check that out. Check us out on podcast platforms. Links, that, links down below. <laughs> um, in August... We played uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 uh, and Fall Guys. And in April, we played Uncharted 4, Thief's End, and Dirt Rally 2.0. Chris, you can start us off. It, if you've been paying attention, you should know what my vote is. It's, it's going to be April. I did not care for Fall Guys and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Fair enough. Plain and simple. That would suck if that one uh, for you if it wins. <laughs> it's just like I didn't like that month. I didn't like that month. I'm telling you guys, I didn't like that month. I didn't like that month. It wins. I didn't like that month. Mm-hmm. I, I'm that mad. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. I was irritated the whole fucking time. <laughs> it, it happens, but yeah, yeah, just I just didn't care for those games. So yeah, April for sure. Cody, uh, I'm gonna go with April too, just for I mean the uh, I think I got. April last time, but the, the Uncharted Four. Um, everyone has to play that game. So if you have PlayStation <laughs> Plus and you haven't played it, like a demand. Play a fucking game, man. Fuck, play it, dude. Well, shit. Uh, let me look at this list. Let me think about this because I could uh, I could make this end right now or not. Um, so Uncharted Four, of course, big fan. Dirt Rally was fine, and then August uh, Fall Guys. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to keep the fucking ball in the air uh, with August because uh, as much as I love Uncharted, um, Dirt Rally is not enough to um, bypass Fall Guys and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for me. So that's one vote for August from me uh, just to see where this lands uh, with you guys. Uh, Josh, you are up. I'm going to be landing on Chevy because I'm picking August also. Um Fall Guys and Call of Duty, in my opinion, having two strong games versus a strong game and an okay game, um, I, I have to go with August. All right, Chevy, you're up. Okay. Uh, kind of rough one. Uh, I think Uncharted 4 is a quality yes game. I, it'd be hard to argue against it. Uh, I would absolutely play fall guys right now though so man let's see call of duty one and done dirt i probably wouldn't replay (laughs) 
Uh, it's going to have to be August because I think Call of Duty uh, is is a, a better option over Dirt. Chris resigned to that before when Shay was even <laughs> thinking about it. He was just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, that was, that was a fun one because that was close. Oh, yeah. Uh, so August moves on. And Great. to be clear, August was... Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered and Fall Guys. Uh, I think, you know, this month is strong, particularly because Modern Warfare 2 is, I think, arguably one of the best Call of Duties that's been made. And oh, then, yeah. um, and even people who I know who don't like the multiplayer in uh, Call of Duty now uh, were telling me that they enjoyed playing that again because that was a Call of Duty they enjoyed. And then Fall Guys, regardless of how you feel about it now, when it came out, big event, uh, brand new game, a lot of people liked it a lot. Chris, not so much. Um, which is fair. Uh, I, I've never seen Chris that stressed playing a game with him before. Um, He's probably on the yellow team when it came to the three, the three V. You know, the the blue versus red versus yellow. Yellow team always loses. He's probably on the yellow team. Well, he was on our team one time. We we're playing the uh, the sports Soccer. thing, and he was just fucking going, "Help yeah. me, help me!" <laughs> we <then> we lost, <laughs> and I started fucking cracking up because I, I was, <laughs> he's just back at the goal, like trying to stop the balls and fucking freaking out. I was like, "We should probably take a break." <laughs> this is getting stressful. He sounds like me yeah. when I play hunt. <laughs> All right. Well, to uh, to Chris's dismay, August moves forward. Um, and then who starts this time, Cody? Mm-hmm. And that is uh, February and June. And uh, let me throw it on the screen for everybody, and I'll read it in a sec. Uh, no. February, June, we had in June Call of Duty World War II and Star Wars Battlefront II, which is moving way further along than I thought it would. And then February, we had Bioshock, The Collection, Firewall Zero Hour, and The Sims 4, um, a month just packed full of content. Uh, Cody, you're up. This one's kind of rough because it's like if you want to do, and I know you can play Star Wars Battlefront 2 solo, obviously not as fun. I think if you're going to get that game, you're going to either, you're going to be playing it online um, or co op. Or as Han Solo. Um, I, what's that? <laughs> I said, or as Han Solo. <laughs> or as Han Solo. Uh, um,. So it's kind of just depends. I know uh, they're both. I guess they're both because you can play. So Modern Warfare Two. I didn't play it when when you can get it for PlayStation Plus. But could you you could play multiplayer too? Not in the remaster. Okay, not in the, okay. So just you're basically just getting a story. Okay. Um, Are we talking about that? I am going you're to. Wrong, Oh. You're, you're thinking of the wrong COD, Cody. Yes, you could play the thinking... multiplayer in World War II. Oh, no, oh okay, World War gotcha. II. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so you can't. <laughs> you're right. I was like, uh, what are we talking about? <laughs> you're like, yeah, you can. Um, <laughs> but you were saying, which all the, I was saying before, I didn't, I didn't actually play that one. You're saying that that was like the worst. In my opinion, it's worst, pretty bad. In your opinion, yeah. It's um, not as bad as uh, Ghosts, but it's pretty bad. But you can still play that one online. So you're basically just yeah, getting two like multiplayer games. Mm-hmm. Um, Bioshock. I'm gonna go with uh, June, just because again, Star Wars. I didn't think that I would be picking Star Wars Battle- Battlefront two as much as I have been. Um, but against that game, against that month, um, I'm going to pick June, just yeah. basically for that game. Fair. I mean, if the game yeah. resonated that much and it was that fun, and I do think Star Wars Battlefront 2 was probably one of the more fun months I had in PlayStation Plus the whole year. It's just a game that I would. It, it just makes more sense to me that I would. I would. I would go back to. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Well, and that matters as well. Like, yeah, what game could you go back to? Chevy said earlier that he could see himself playing Fall Guys again, which is for a sure. huge yeah. boon to that game and voting for it because it resonated. It's a game that stuck with you. So um, absolutely. Yeah, so, oof, fuck, I'm up next already, so quick. Um, <clears throat> so what am I working yeah, I... with here? In June, we got Call of Duty World War II. One thing I want to say about this year, and we talk about this at the end, but I'm just going to say it now. One thing they did this year that I don't like is they lumped together a lot of similar games in the same months. I wish they would have spread those out a bit more because we got a month with two shooters that are primarily online yeah. shooters. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. we got a month that was City Skyline and Farming Simulator, both games I enjoyed playing. But both games in one month? 
Seems kind of like mm-hmm. if you are not into that kind of game, that month sucked for you. Yeah. Um. Like so two, and two, some games or some months they balance games. it better, but mm-hmm. other months they kind of fucked around and found out. Found out. Yeah. Well, like the thing about that is, is like sometimes if you don't like one, you can kind of get a palate cleanse by going to the other yeah. one. But if they're both Sims or if they're both the shooters, you're just like Jesus. There ain't nothing here for me. Yeah, yeah like, it would just seem like dumps. Like, they're just like, well, we can just take these games and just throw them out there. I, you know Games. what I mean? I know that they are quality <laughs> games, but it almost just seems like, well, let's just take these games and just release them out instead of just, like, thinking about how, you know what I mean? Like, like you are just saying, uh, as, like, a palate cleanse. So it almost, if they did that, if they, if they uh, strategize it a little bit better, it, you know, people would, um, they'd be more, uh, more memorable. But Yeah. For sure. Uh, with that, I just want to throw it out there. Uh, June, we got Call of Duty World War II, trash game. Star Wars Battlefront Two, not trash game. And then uh, so that's a 50-50 right there. But uh, Battlefront Two, uh, you know, resonates with me because it was it was a lot of fun. It wasn't just like, oh, it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I could play it again easily. I would buy it again on PC just to play it on there. Um, yeah. And then February, Bioshock Collection, huge value there. Three games, three great games. Games I don't really enjoy playing that much, but I love the world and stuff like that. Firewall, which is a fun game, but nobody will play with me. Um, and then uh, <laughs> Sims 4, which is the, the lesser um, experience of The Sims, even though I know you can plug in a mouse and keyboard. I'm not doing that on my fucking, I'm not doing that on my console. Come on. Um, holy shit. Uh I had the most fun with Battlefront 2, but I think February is a better month overall. Um, I'm going to go with February. I just think it's a better month. It's a better balanced month. I think it has a, more to offer. And uh, I think if you're somebody who didn't dig a game in that month, there's something else to play. So I think it's a better balanced month in my opinion. Uh, Josh? Uh, I'm going to go with August. Yeah. August, when, February and June. <laughs> <laughs> August, for anybody listening, was Call of Duty Marvel for two and Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Uh, sorry, um, June. Um, Cody reminded me, or whoever the hell reminded me of that um, infection <laughs> fuck that. type mode fuck with that the uh, stormtroopers hiding from the fucking Ewoks. And oh. holy shit, was that fun. So, yeah, it was a really yeah. cool way um, to reimagine that mode. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I completely forgot about that in my original voting. Um, but yeah, that game was loads of fun. And if I'm not mistaken, it's free on Epic right now. Um, is it, it is. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. I got to get that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it was a blast to play. And like I said, all the all of February's games to me are like ones and duns. Um, so I would definitely come back to Star Wars Battlefront 2. So June. Two votes for June, one for February. Um, Chevy. Um, man, I think this. Uh, so I, I agree that I think February is the better value, hundred uh, percent. For most people, Bioshock is a great series, uh, but the only game in February that I would even play right now would be Sims, and the only game in June I would. June I would play is Star Wars Battlefront 2 and one of those has multiplayer so Star Wars June all right that's three votes for June June makes it to the next round and is one of the finalists uh February <laughs> is fucked um oh I'm sorry Chris <laughs> <laughs> the finalists are shooters <laughs> He's going crazy right now. <laughs> like, this is my life. <laughs> um, anything else you want to say, Chevy? No, I'm good. All right. Chris, what would you have voted for? Um, I would have gone with February just because I really enjoyed Bioshock. Um, and I think it's a great deal for what you're getting. Um, not that I didn't have fun playing Battlefront 2. I enjoyed it a lot, but I wouldn't play it unless invited to play it. Like, I wouldn't go out of my way to play it again. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, but it, I haven't sought to play it again since then. So I, I'm always trying to play Bioshock, to be honest. Yeah. It's interesting. Me and you picked February. 
I agree with you guys when it comes to Battlefront 2 and how fun it is. That mm-hmm. is the game I would oh, come yeah. back and play for sure. But uh, mm-hmm. I just look at February and I look at 50% of what June offered. And I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't yeah. keep voting for that World War II, man. I fuck, it was mm-hmm. World War II, right? No. Fuck yeah, that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But Battlefront 2 is so good. One game every month that like I'm okay with. The rest of them just like, yeah, whatever. That's yeah. kind of how it is for like... they. Uh, PlayStation does one thing. It's put a strong game with a game that's middling and uh when we do our our the three years we've done this four years three years four years i think four years that we've done this uh it's like that every time it's like well that one game was really strong and i like that game it's like i don't give a fuck about that other game so <laughs> seems to be happening again i think december was a pretty strong month even though yeah two of the games were weaker but i i liked i liked rocket arena i didn't love it but i liked it but yeah most months are like that for sure there's mm-hmm. one month here where fucking nba 2k20 was my favorite game <laughs> i don't like that game it's the best game that month Ugh. that tells you a lot what else came out that month fucking erica tomb raider yeah all right, uh, so that is June moving forward versus August. Who's up first now? You. Back Am I? To one. Yep. Oh shit! So I do get I get a say in this. Cool. Um, I think <laughs> last year and the year before, I I was, I was like compl- like I didn't get to say in the final <laughs> fucking vote, which is fine. That's how that's how it works. Uh, so August and June and June, of course, Call of Duty World War Two and Star Wars Battlefront Two. Will it? Make it to the best month of PlayStation Plus, according to Taste of Loot Gaming, riding basically off of just Star Wars Battlefront 2, a very strong <laughs> game. Um, or will it be August, which is the opposite direction, which was also Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, Campaign Remastered, oh, yeah. a great, fantastic, legendary single player campaign in the mm-hmm. Call of Duty series, and Fall Guys, Ultimate Knockout, which was a huge event. Um, in uh, in gaming and on Twitter as well, uh, and uh, the, the BDE of that game coming mm. out for free on its BDE. release. Um, fuck, uh, I'm going. I'm going with August. I think August. Um, and I'm not trying to be anti Battlefront Two here. Um, I agree. It's fucking fun as hell. I loved it. I actually, I think I would play. I'm saying it right now, I would play Battlefront Two out of all these games right now. If you guys mm-hmm. want to play it over these games, but I would still also play Fall Guys. If somebody said, hey, let's play some Fall Guys. If you guys are like, hey, let's play some Modern Warfare 2, I'm like, you guys going to watch me? Because I'm not watching you play that shit. Mm -hmm. You watch me play, that's fine. Um, So, kind of even, but uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty World War 2, there is no comparison. One's a fucking game that belongs in a dumpster, and the (laughs) other one is fucking one of the renowned Call of Duties, one of the great campaigns of Call of Duty. Um, and then, yeah, Fall Guys is great. Game I would come back and play. Battlefront 2 is a game I would come back and play. But August, I think, is the stronger month of two games I would absolutely play, which is great. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Josh, you are up next. Uh, I'm also going to go August. Um, like I said, as much fun as Battlefront 2 is, um, World War II belongs in that landfill next to the uh, E.T. Atari fucking <laughs> games. Um, so, and Fall Guys more it's it's more of like not that this is a month that i would in, that i enjoy playing because i but, but i did it's more of the event that happened around that month there was so much fervor with fall guys there was so much and then to just to give it to you for free like you're like in it and then yeah. they just give it to you for free you're like this is awesome yeah and then everybody just instantly became part of that of what was going on there yeah so um I love Chris's so subtle, like, no, his head shaking. <laughs> Just the fanfare and the Over. event of what happened in August, that gives that gets my vote. Yeah, so that's two for August. Chevy, you can seal in August to be the best month of PlayStation Plus in 2020. According to all of us, we all agree on that, right? Um, or you can keep the ball near with June. I think I have to wait. Chris is not going to be happy. So, um, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, both Call of Duties really just kind of don't matter to me here. Um, cause I, I, I wouldn't play either of them at this point because they've played one multiple times to this, and the other one I would not revisit. Um, 
I think Star Wars is more fun, though. So I'm actually going to go with June. Ooh. Cody's face is perfect. He's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Ow! All right. That is two votes for August, one vote for June. Chris, you get a say in this. Ah, I get a glorious say in things. Um, Star Wars Battlefront 2, a lot of fun. I think Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is the only campaign that I beat ever. Like, I played all the way through, if I remember right. Um, but I'm not going to go back and play it again because it's a campaign, so it's pretty much a one and done. Mm -hmm. um, Battlefront 2, I could play again if asked, so I'm going to vote for June. Mm. All right. That is two for June, two for August. Damn. Cody, you get to pick the best month of PlayStation Plus in 2020. You get to pick it. This is I'm, I'm going to make the <laughs> thumbnail Cody's face. Cody's pick <laughs> for best month of PlayStation Plus in 2020, according to TLG. I <laughs> this is all Cody's fault. <laughs> um, August it is. That's it's gotta be August. Um, just because I'm gonna piggyback on what Josh said is just like the whole the fervor, as he said, um, around Fall Guys. That that was like a big deal. It was just a huge deal. I think that game. Um, I feel like Call of Duty again. Going you know with the. Um, with Battlefront 2, it's a game you can go back to and play, um, you know, it, multiplayer. It, it has a lot of replay replay value to it. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is one of those things that's like, if you if you didn't play it the first time, or if you... It, it is a kind of a one and done. Like Chevy said, uh, you know, you play it, uh, and you, you, that's kind of it, you know. But it is one of those campaigns that you kind of you, you should at least play one time and it's kind of given up you know basically for free uh in, in that aspect so it, it's 100 percent worth it it's just one of the the games that kind of like just jump started the whole it, obviously modern warfare one was was legit but i feel like modern warfare 2 kind of got the ball rolling to where we are now so I think mm. that was kind of the main, you know what I mean? I, I know obviously the multiplayer and stuff like that, but as far as like the campaigns go, like that was like legit, legit done. Didn't like Hans Zimmer do like the soundtrack? Oh, dude. It was like legendary. Yeah, a, a big deal. Like it was just very, very epic. I mean, I still remember uh, characters' names, you know, playing it. It was just a very, very big deal uh, when I first played that game. Uh, and Fall Guys, uh, again, the, the fervor. You know, just all, all that fur, um, you know, all, all that uh, all that customizable, cutesy, uh, twitchy, you know, just that whole that just it's just fun. You know, it's a game that, you know, you, you know, we could all go back and play with the community, you know, whenever, you know, the next time we do a community stream or anything like that. It's mm -hmm. just one of those types of games um, and they'll keep updating. It's a, it's a game that they've obviously uh, talked about. Uh, continuing to support so it's still a big deal so uh august yeah and two things yeah. on fall guys as well as the the game itself was fun to play for most people but or for sure. a lot of people but um uh in a year that kind of sucked the social aspect of the build-up to the game oh, yeah. and the game's release yeah. was kind of nice kind of distracted a lot of people there's, it felt like there's a lot sure. of people going, you know, all together going like, yeah, there's something really exciting. I remember when that game was first, like, being talked about, people were like, what the fuck's Fall Guys? And then by the time the game was being released, people were like, Fall Guys, Fall Guys, I want to play this really bad. Oh, yeah. And uh, oh, yeah. then even after that, oh. they kept playing around with, like, the lore and, like, building canon in the game as the game yeah. had released in really weird, bizarre ways um, that I feel like it's kind of tapered off, honestly. They haven't really, don't really make tweets like that anymore, but for a while there, it was really fun kind of following... Uh, them and, mm -hmm. and seeing what kind of stuff they uh, put out. So, um, yeah, Fall Guys was definitely kind of an event. Um, but, yeah, according to Cody, August is the best month of PlayStation Plus in 2020. Uh, three votes versus two with June. Um, and, uh, yeah, very cool. I also, I also love how Cody got on the back of that fucking donkey that was goddamn... Uh, Battlefront 2 and rode it all the way oh, to yeah. the finish line and then jumped off and went, I like this one better. Right. And then just went right across with it. Yep. <laughs> he rode that missile to the bottom and then was like, I'm not doing this and jumped off it. It wouldn't have made sense. It would not have made sense. Yeah. Just, that's This is our story. Yeah. We're sticking to it. This is it. So yeah, uh, Chris, any thoughts on uh, 
the the joke early on that this might win. <laughs> I I knew it was gonna win just because Fall Guys. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Anything you guys want to say on uh, the process and what won and something you might have probably would have rather won? Um, I don't know if we did this prior years. I feel like we did, but talking about like what our personal favorites were. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and ironically, for me at least, I actually think June and August were probably the strongest two months of the year for me. It's the first time that it's happened as we've done this show. So I'm kind of surprised because usually... That is interesting, uh, yeah. Yeah, usually with the one I like, it's thrown out pretty early on. Uh, mostly just because like, there'll be a strong game I like in it, but another month has more options and you know this is a majority wins situation. So, mm-hmm. uh, so yeah, it was kind of interesting because I, I do think... Uh, looking back on the whole list the the two games i had the most fun with were battlefront 2 and ball guys out of all the games that came out last year mm-hmm. and i i think 2020 was kind of a weak year for me uh when it came to plus games so. i i feel like that too i think last year was stronger mm-hmm. yeah i think mm-hmm. it had bigger bigger bangers bigger bangers sure. the biggest of bangers as bde as this year was there was bigger bangers last year yeah BD bangers. There was bigger dick energy last year. Yeah, there yeah. was just huge games in 2020, though. Yeah. BDB. Big um, dick bangers. Picking m- the month I would have wanted to win is kind of rough. Uh, I don't think January, Goat Simulator, and Uncharted, I don't think that should have won. Uncharted's great, the collection, but not a strong enough month. I wouldn't have been upset if February won with what it offered Bioshock, Firewall, and The Sims 4, but I'm glad it didn't win. Shadow of the Colossus and Sonic Forces, I'm glad didn't win. Uh, Dirt Rally 2.0 and Uncharted 4, I'm glad didn't win just because I don't think Dirt Rally 2.0 is a strong enough game, but Uncharted 4 is absolutely, if that was paired with something that was stronger, that would have been the year to win for me. City Skyline and Farming Simulator, I think was a pretty strong month. Both games were pretty fun and I was surprised by them, Um, but not ones that I would necessarily want to win. I wouldn't have been upset if June won. Because Star Wars Battlefront 2 was very, very good. But on that, Call of Duty is like the fucking World War 2 is the dead body that fucking Star Wars Battlefront 2 is handcuffed to and dragging around all over the place. It's just a, it's just a burden. Um, July, I'm glad didn't win. NBA 2K20, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Erica, not a big fan. Uh, August, I think, is uh, probably one of the strongest months. So I'm glad it did win uh, with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Fall Guys. So yeah, kind of like what Chevy said, the two months that were head to head. One of the first years that I'm like, yeah, either of these could win. I don't care. That's fine. Like, they're both good. Um, September, I well, it was fine. Uh, Player Unknowns, Battlegrounds, and Street Fighter Five. Even though we didn't get the good version of that, Need for Speed Payback. I would have fucking been so angry, you guys. I would delete this channel <laughs> if you guys fucking made that happen. Uh, I'm like, well, that's it, guys. Thanks. That's the last episode of this ever. Uh, Vampire. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but I think November was a really good month as well with Bug Snacks, Hollow Knight, and Middle Earth. Uh, Shadow of War. I'm surprised it didn't get further. And. Uh, I think December was also solid too. So there's four months this year that I think were like super, or 2020, that were super fucking solid. Um, and I would have been fine with any one of those four making it. Any thoughts? <laughs> Nothing. We can just fucking shut this fucker down. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm glad. Uh, I'm, I'm glad what won won. Um, I believe it. It did deserve it. Um, I was just thinking because they gave out all four of the Uncharted games. If you really want a banger month, they should have gave out the Drake Collection and Uncharted Four in one month. That would have been fucking wild. Has that kind that of would be crazy. They only had time for the Uncharted Collection. I'm unemployed. And I don't have that kind of time. Yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't. Uh, because this was technically the last year of PlayStation. I'm surprised they didn't do more Swan Song kind of games last year of playstation well the last year of playstation 4 because playstation 5 came out oh they're gonna support for another like three years well no no, no i know i know i got I, 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 I get what you're saying but yeah if they it'd be cool if they did like a lot more like playstation centric like greatest hits and stuff like that like it'd be cool if they add to the collection yeah yeah or like well just for the months like play oh. all these fucking bangers before you jump over the next gen oh i'm sure they know? will yeah i'm sure they will because so. they've been releasing three games at a time. Two of those are PS4 games. One has been like a PS5 only game, even though some of the games are not only PS5 games. They're just only available on PS5 to incentivize people who have PS5 to uh, get more. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Anything else anybody wants to say? No. 
Good enough year, yeah. fun enough year. Some good games, some big bangers, some fucking yeah, pieces of shit. Yeah, we got some shit. games, hey. In, uh, in 2020. You know. 2020 was a fucked year. And uh, luckily, in gaming, it was a fantastic year. And I think PlayStation Plus, not the strongest year, but they brought it. It wasn't a bad year. And uh, yeah, August is the best. So Multiplayer uh, games brought it. Yeah. Brought it back. So let's hope for in 2021 uh, some big games. I think we started off really strong with... Uh, Man Eater, Greedfall, and something else. Fucking a. <laughs> sure. Yeah. What's yeah. The game? the mm-hmm. Man Eater mm-hmm. upgrade to PlayStation Five. It looks pretty. Because that's the PlayStation Five version. Yeah. Is fucking awesome compared to the PlayStation Four version. And I cannot talk about it because I'll talk about it at the end of this month. But uh, stay tuned for that. But what's the third game? I forgot. I said it earlier. Tomb Raider. Tomb the Raider. Episode. The third Tomb Raider. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Got it. Which is weird because they didn't give out the second one. Yes, they did. We've gotten all of them now. When? Yeah. Yeah. Rise, and then what was the other one? There's Rise, Shadow, and Fall. One. It's Fall Tomb Raider. Yeah, we got we got one no. in 2019. No, we watch her fall all over fucking. That's all of them. Is the Rise Fall of the Tomb Raider? Raider. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, all in all, fun uh fun year. Uh, hopefully 2021 is better. Uh, great conversation. Really enjoyed having that with you guys. Um. And uh, yeah, let us know in the comments, what was your favorite month of PlayStation Plus in 2020? Did we nail it? Did we get the fucking right one? Are you one of those people who's like, no, Battlefront 2 should have rode from the beginning to the fucking end. It should have beat everything by itself. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, what, was, what month uh, was your favorite? What was your least favorite? What was your least favorite game of PlayStation Plus in 2020? I've been clear about Payback and World War II um, and Erica. And some people liked it, but I, I didn't. And uh, let's know everything you're thinking about in the comments below. That's going to do it for this episode of Tasty Cast, episode 131. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this episode. Make sure to check out our other episodes. Check us out on social media, link down below. Check out our streams, link down below. Check out our Discord, link down below as well. You can talk to us anytime, all the time. We're on iTunes, Spotify, and other podcast platforms. If you prefer to listen to us, this will be there if you want to listen to it again. And uh, Patreon. You can support the channel if you want to. More. So then uh, subscribing if you're new and all the other things that I said earlier. Uh, my name is Seth, and I want to thank Josh, Chevy, Chris, and Cody for joining me on this, I think, fourth year of uh, doing this conversation. It was fun. Anything you guys want to say before we close out? See you again next Years year. are flying by. <laughs> fucking A. Look Four at all years. of our faces. We, <laughs> look, we all look. Dark ass fucking. Our beards are growing. Our wrinkles are getting wow. bigger. We're just or fucking men. weathering away. Wrinkles. This is oh, a, actually, I think we're all doing pretty good you. on that front. Yeah, I'm alabaster fucking <laughs> prince over here, dog. I'm alabaster fucking prince. Uh, <laughs> on that note, uh, until the next episode, which will be Tasty Tuesday, have a good weekend, guys. Hope your wrinkles don't come in too quick, and take it easy.